thanks for joining us. Uh, start with any questions from Kareem Copeland uh, from the Washington Post. You know, how tough is it to just get the offense going when you're in a game that that's your yeah, they did a good job um, with being physical on the defensive end of the court. Um, and then they executed on the offensive end of the court. They, they out-rebounded us. And, you know, it's hard It's hard to win games when you get out-rebounded like that. But um, it says a lot about us and um, our resiliency um, to keep the game close with um, that dramatic of out-rebound. How, how difficult is it to kind of get into the flow of what you want to do? And how do you get to, you know, the secondary option when, I guess, there's really not a whole lot of yeah, um, we knew it was going to be a grind because um, they're a physical team. You know, we watched film on them. We knew um, we was going to have to be, you know, great on defense end, um, which I thought we was for the most part, but just gave up too many offensive rebounds. Just, just one last one. I was just going to ask you, what do you think you guys learned about the Celtics? I think we learned that no matter what, we always going to be a fighting team. And that uh, when it comes down to it, uh, no matter if it's height or speed or this or that, it's always going to be nothing but us. And we're always going to back each other, have each other's back. And we're always going to try to bring that heart, bring that competitiveness. We've got uh, Bruce Posner, Red Turtle Productions. Bruce, please uh, unmute if you have a question. Okay, we will move on to uh, Jacob Richmond from the Diamondback. Oh, I'm sorry, Bruce, you there? Yeah. Do okay. we have Dante there or Fats? We have uh, Dante and Fats here, Bruce. I wanted to ask Fats. Uh, Fats, number one, you know, how disappointing was this loss? And number two, did you feel like it kind of got away from the team because you were out-rebounded so poorly, and yet the game was so close? Very unusual for that to happen. Yeah, um, you know, every game that we lose is gonna hurt. Um, you know, it's just how we are. We're competitors. Um, we don't we don't teach losing. Um, when you wear Maryland on your chest, you just expect to win. Um, and yeah, in the rebound situation, that was that just says a lot about how you know tough we are on the defensive end that we could get out rebounding like that, but still be in a game, um, a tough game like that. So uh, we'll we'll correct it and um, get back to it for the next one. Okay, now we'll go to uh, Jacob Richmond. Uh, my first question is for Dante. Uh, coming out of that timeout with about a minute left, can you tell me a little bit, you know, what was the call in the huddle and then how did you see it on the court? Um, it was just set for us to try to get a quick three. And uh, it wasn't, it, it moved a little faster than we wanted it to be uh, when we got on the court. But we still got to it and got it to a quick three, unfortunately. The three then four, and uh, we just had to get back on defense and try to get a little stop. And then a question for Fats. Um, you know, early on in the first half, Louisville's definitely having some problems converting, and the defense was causing, causing a lot of problems. Uh, but it se didn't seem like the team totally capitalized on that. Uh, what do you guys think you can learn in that aspect for future games? Yeah, um, you know, we play, we pride ourselves on the defensive end, which I felt like we, we were doing a really good job, you know, getting that first stop. But we just kept giving them second chances. And when you get a team chance after chance after chance, you know, eventually the ball is going to um, go in the basket. Um, so, you know, just going forward and practice and stuff like that, we'll, we'll fix it and uh, be ready for our next opponent. All right, Dante and Fats, appreciate your time. Thanks, guys.